Welcome to Introduction to Computer Science, Computer Software. This is Lecture A. The component, Introduction to Computer Science, provides a basic overview of computer architecture, data organization, representation, and structure, structure of programming languages, and networking and data communication. It also includes some basic terminology from the world of computing. The learning objectives for this unit, Computer Software, are two. Define computer software and major software types. Describe application software classification and provide examples, including those focused on healthcare. Define what an operating system is. Explain the features and functions of operating systems. Classify operating systems. Describe commonly used operating systems. Describe types and major attributes of files. Explain the purpose of file systems. Provide file management tips and identify different implementations of file systems. This lecture provides a definition of the term software and describes the major types of software. Broadly defined, software is a set of instructions that direct a computer to perform specific tasks or operations. Software is what makes a computer usable. There are three major types of software. System software, which includes the operating system and utility programs, programming software, and application software. System software interacts directly with the computer's hardware, making the computer run and serving as a layer between the application software and the hardware. System software makes sure that the hardware does everything the applications want it to do and helps coordinate the tasks that all the running programs need it to do. Programming software provides software developers with a programming environment, which they use to create other programs. Application software offers computer users productivity, entertainment, and communication tools. The remainder of this lecture focuses on application software. The basis of all application software is code. Code contains the programming statements or instructions that make a program work. Files are a second software component. Files are either sets of compiled computer instructions or sets of data that may be created, retrieved, and used by software. When we talk about files that are sets of compiled computer instructions, we're talking about software programs, such as Microsoft Word or Adobe Reader. When we talk about files that are sets of data that may be created, retrieved, and used by software, we're talking about things such as a .docx file created using Microsoft Word or a PDF formatted file that can be opened and read using Adobe Reader. Another software component is the database. Databases are optimized for storing and retrieving large amounts of data quickly, correctly, and securely. Databases may or may not be part of a software program. An example of a database application is an electronic medical record, or EMR. Listed here are seven categories of application software. Each category can be subdivided into smaller categories. These categories are not exclusive or distinct. Some business applications can be used for home purposes as well. We'll discuss each of these categories in more depth for the remainder of the lecture. Business and home use applications often overlap. They include word processing software, spreadsheets, database applications, presentation software, project management software, and accounting applications to name a few. Word processing software is used for a variety of purposes, including composing, editing, formatting, sharing, and printing letters, flyers, pamphlets, legal documents, postcards, mailing labels, and much more. Many word processing applications offer useful features such as autocorrection, spell checking, grammar checking, and change tracking for version control. Examples of word processing applications are Microsoft Word, OpenOffice Writer, Corel WordPerfect, and Google Docs. Pictured is a screenshot from Microsoft Word. Spreadsheet applications are used for organizing data and performing calculations. These calculations can be performed using built-in functions and user-defined formulas. Also, spreadsheets can generate graphs or charts representing the data. Spreadsheets can be used for anything from tracking simple home expenses to performing complex, powerful calculations on very large data sets. Some examples of spreadsheet applications are Microsoft Excel, Lotus 123, Corel Quattro Pro, Google Docs, and Apache OpenOffice Calc. Pictured is a screenshot from Microsoft Excel. 
Presentation software lets you design, create, and present demonstrations, simulations, and instructional courses, such as the PowerPoint presentation you're experiencing right now. The presentation is developed as a series of slides with text and or images, tables, videos, and graphs. Presentations can have special features, such as animations and automatic transitions. The resulting presentation can be displayed and viewed during a lecture with a human speaker. It can be viewed as a standalone display that continually loops on a kiosk, or it can be published online. Some examples of presentation software are Microsoft PowerPoint, OpenOffice Impress, and Apple Keynote. Displayed here is a screenshot from Microsoft PowerPoint. Project management software helps with planning and scheduling all types of projects. It keeps track of deadlines, deliverables, timelines, milestones, resources, and events. For complex projects with many contributors, project management software is a must. One popular project management software application is Microsoft Project. Other examples are Fast Track Schedule and Seer SEM. This slide shows a screenshot from Seer SEM. There are many other project management software products, some available as a free download online. There are many science and mathematical applications used for statistical analysis, mathematical modeling, and computational science. These number crunching applications are designed to work on large amounts of data. These applications include statistical packages such as SPSS and Gretl. An open source version of Gretl is pictured here. MATLAB offers both an interactive environment and high level language for numeric and symbolic computation, visualization, and programming. It is extensively used in science, engineering, signal and image processing, communications, control systems, computational finance, and many other areas. Mathematica software is another mathematical package. It provides computational support for engineering, science, and mathematical problems. Graphics and multimedia applications are used to create and edit images, videos, audio, and even video games. Desktop publishing software is professional-grade software used to produce high-quality print documents such as textbooks, brochures, and catalogs. It provides far more powerful formatting and higher resolution output than a word processor can. There are several options available for this type of software, including Adobe PageMaker, Adobe FrameMaker, and Microsoft Publisher. Scribus is an open-source option. This is a screenshot of the desktop publishing software Scribus. Notice the complex formatting and layout tools. They are far more powerful and precise than the options available in a word processor. Professional versions of image editing, photo editing, and paint software are used in the workplace by graphic artists and designers. Image editing software allows users to edit existing images and photos. Photo editing software is a type of image editing software specifically for digital photographs. This software can retouch photos and add or remove elements from a photo. Some examples are Adobe Photoshop, GIMP, and Inkscape. Paint software is for drawing shapes and pictures. This is a screenshot of Inkscape, an open source image editing application, and shows different effects applied to a single image. Video editing is another example of graphics and multimedia software. It breaks video into segments called clips. The user can then modify a clip, delete it, rearrange the order of several clips, and add special effects to the clips. Some examples are Adobe Premiere Elements, Pinnacle Studio, and OpenShot. Displayed is a screenshot from OpenShot. There are many types of communication software, including email, instant messaging, file transfer using file transfer protocol, or FTP, web browsers, voice over internet protocol, or VoIP, blogs, and wikis. Anything that allows users to communicate over a network would be considered communication software. The screenshot displayed is of Mozilla Thunderbird, an email application. Artificial intelligence, or AI, applications use knowledge, reasoning, learning, and other human characteristics for approximating human intelligence. Some examples are voice recognition software, automated online help, and expert systems, among others. AI has several sub-areas, including reasoning and deduction. Programming a computer to solve problems quickly is vital for AI. Knowledge representation and retrieval. In order for computers to act intelligently, they must have extensive knowledge. This knowledge must be represented in a way that can be easily retrieved. 
Natural language processing refers to computers being able to read and correctly interpret written text. Perception is the ability to recognize different inputs. Some examples of perception are facial, spatial, and voice recognition. Learning is the ability to add new knowledge based on existing knowledge. Planning involves understanding the current state and predicting changes based on computer actions. Motion is used by intelligent robots to interact with the physical world around them and to navigate and manipulate the environment. Healthcare software includes electronic medical records, healthcare information systems, medical office management systems, imaging, and telemedicine. There are many applications that use AI. Expert systems use rules and directed input from the user to identify possible solutions to a problem. Expert systems are used in medicine for diagnoses, prescribing medication, and for decision making. Voice recognition is used by many devices today, such as cell phones and Bluetooth wireless devices. Instead of typing commands into a computer or cell phone, you can interact with a computing device through voice recognition software just by talking to it. Robots use AI to move, perform tasks, navigate, plan, and make decisions. Even email spam filtering uses AI for identifying and learning which email is spam. Video games use AI to program game behavior. There is even automated online help for websites that replaces a human customer service representative. The AI helps find answers to users' questions through a conversation. There are many different software applications available for healthcare. They include electronic health records, or EHRs and electronic medical records, or EMRs, which both pertain to the medical and health information of an individual. Health information systems are typically used in hospitals or large clinics. They often include an EMR as well as other features, such as physician ordering, medications, decision support, billing, and scheduling. Expert systems and decision support systems use AI to analyze knowledge and make decisions as a human expert would. Medical office management systems also include management features such as scheduling and billing. Patient registries are datasets relating to a particular medical issue or population that are used to track changes in patients over time. They often provide a more global view over all patients than EMRs can. Imaging and telemedicine are technologies available in healthcare to improve care. Let's explore some of these applications in more detail. Displayed here are some examples of EHRs, Epicare, GE's Centricity, and Vista. Included are URLs you can follow to get more information. Vista is one of the first healthcare information systems that included an EMR. Vista stands for Veterans Information Systems and Technology Architecture. Vista was developed by the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs and is used by the Veterans Health Administration. This VISTA screenshot shows lab result values graphed over time for a particular patient. An expert system is a computer system that imitates the decision-making process of a human expert. There are many expert systems used in healthcare. Here are just a few examples. IBM Watson, IBM's intelligent computer system, is being adapted to be an expert decision support system in healthcare. It will analyze massive amounts of up-to-date information journal articles, studies, similar cases, and clinical and laboratory findings, among other information, to help medical personnel make decisions about patient care. For over two decades, D-Explain has provided doctors with diagnosis support in the form of case analysis and an electronic medical textbook. In a clinical setting, given a set of signs, symptoms, and laboratory values, D-Explain can provide a list of possible diagnoses, along with explanations. As a medical textbook, it provides detailed information about over 2,400 diseases. Mycin was developed at Stanford in the 1970s and was one of the first expert systems used in a medical setting. It was capable of identifying bacteria and recommending antibiotics for dosages and treatment. Medical office management systems provide scheduling and billing support. This is a screenshot from OpenEMR that demonstrates the scheduling feature of the software. Medical imaging is just what it sounds like, capturing, storing, and viewing images of human structures. These images can be generated from diagnostic tools such as x-rays, MRIs, and CAT scans. The software then displays the images for viewing by medical personnel. Telemedicine is the ability to consult or manage medical procedures remotely. 
Software that supports telemedicine is crucial. It must be able to display whatever is needed so that the remote work can be done. On the screen is an example of a chest scan used in teleradiology. This concludes Lecture A of the Unit on Computer Software. In summary, this lecture covered software that makes a computer useful. There are three major types of software, application, system, and program software. There are many different types of application software. In healthcare, the use of application software is very common, and it is used for a variety of purposes.